Hi fellas, we heard about this young lady, a 17 year old, this Cook Grey I think her name is, in Crewe in Cheshire, and we were talking about their favourite people in this college, I forget the name of the college, in Crewe anyway, in Cheshire, and uh, because she dared say she wasn't keen on, on Jeremy Corbyn, because as we know all the lecturers are heavily left wing and heavily indoctrinated into the religion of peace, which has never been peaceful in 1450 years. Yeah, because she said she admired Tommy Robinson, some of his views, and she's, I think she's got some connection with the Young for Britain movement. They actually sent her out of the class and sent her home. She got a, her father got a phone call, you know, after she'd been there an hour, saying she'd been sent out of class. Her free speech, her view, of a well-known somewhat controversial figure Tommy Robinson who's speaking a lot a lot of truth that a lot of people agree with about these uh, Muslim extremists about the rape gangs which are going on they're all going on all over the country deny it till you blew in the te your teeth whether you be in posh Oxford or Cornwall or Wales or up in Edinburgh they're all over the country because their ideology tells them they're allowed to do this this is what you've got to understand you know, people think um, of holy books, you think they're the Bible, you think, well, if the Quran's like the Bible, it's got to be okay. But the Quran is practically exactly the opposite to the Bible. It preaches violence, jihad, taking over the entire world. Gays can be killed, women are worth about a third of what a man is worth. Uh, they do female genital mutilation on all the young girls. The parents take them for it, clitorectomy. Hold them down, put, hold their legs apart and cut their little beavers to bits in screaming agony and their sicko parents take them for it. So, if ever I'm down crew, which I am occasionally, I'm going to make a point of calling in and banging on, on, banging on a principal's desk or receptionist's desk and ask why an up and coming, probably politician, a 17 year old girl, this cut grey, has been very upset and thrown out of a class for supporting a person who probably about half the country is supporting or more I think it's more every day since he's since he revealed about this fake news bullshit news network and, uh, and this this was featured in the sun and in the sun he didn't have one good word to say about Tommy ex -ADL, controversial ex -ADL, this and it didn't say anything about his reporting of his of the murders of his friends, of the many, many street murders of, of normal English people, the hands of these barbarians, and a lot of them are bar barbarians. I'm not saying we don't have good doctors and good nurses, all well and good, but the vast majority that Merkel's imported are just illiterate savages. They're illiterate in their own language, let alone ours, and they are far from, you know, they are far from the perfect individuals that they say their prophet was. Their prophet was a, a mass raping, mass murdering savage. And they try and say he was the perfect role model to all men. With 66 in their book, at least 66 sex slaves, concubines to go. They're not partners, they're not girlfriends, they're not wives, they're concubines. Which is a very lonely person, very lonely woman. It's a sex slave who's probably just seen her dad beheaded and her mum and sisters thrown into sexual slavery. That's two Muhammad lights, innocent, terrified, pale skinned young girls, so he could manage to use his little wrinkly. <laughs> it must have been little if he could get it in all these kids. Uh, anyway, it's, it's disgraceful that this, uh, that this, this girl and many others. I, I know a, I know a youngster who was also coming for hassle in her college and school, and she's just a little bit younger than this girl and. This shows what fascists, what Nazis, these Antifa teachers, lecturers really are, who really, in truth, no sweet FA about Islam, the Prophet, the Sunnah, the Hadith or anything. We don't, we're talking out their arse. We're just repeating what they've been heard off their lying to care Muslim mates. Okay. See you guys. Wish this girl all the best and all the other students that uh, are brave enough to speak up against this uh, Islamo-fascism, we've got Islamo-Nazism. It's taken over Europe. It's taken over Europe, firstly. Okay, see you guys. Bye-bye.